There are some stories that truly are timeless, and one of those is Cinderella. The latest film of the story is now out on DVD, and Jim Ferguson sat down with several of the stars. Good morning, Jim. Good morning. Our Hollywood Happening Today looks at the timeless story of Disney's Cinderella, which was just released yesterday on DVD Blu-ray. For the role of the feared stepmother, the casting of Oscar winner Kate Blanchett was perfect. Kate, so good to see you again, and what a wonderful performance in a fairy tale I've enjoyed over the years, mm -hmm. Cinderella. And I know you enjoy fairy tales. I I've do. Read well, that I, you know, anyway. I, I, I tell them to my children because fairy tales tell or describe to children a dark and challenging universe. Mm -hmm. And often, as parents, you know, as storytellers, we try and sanitize that. We tell them who to gravitate towards. And, and I think the, the great thing for me about this retelling is that even the villains have a three-dimensional quality to them. So you don't, you, you, can, you can understand them and touch them and feel them. And, feel, and I think that's what makes it contemporary. They're real. It's not, they're yeah, real. They're, not, yeah. they're not cardboard cutouts. And was Cinderella one of your favorites? I must say it wasn't. I, I liked Hansel and Gretel. I felt there was real danger. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you know, even the Cinderellas, the Rapunzels, the ones who got locked in towers and um, had to be rescued by handsome princes. They weren't <laughs> the ones that I, I yeah. really gravitated towards because they were quite passive. And what Lily has done is she has kept Cinderella the light of Cinderella, the, the mm. goodness, the truth, the openness, the honesty, the kindness, the goodness, all of that stuff afloat. But she's made her... Um, her strength. They made them into strengths. And so you understand why she stays out of loyalty to her father's memory and her, um, and her mother's memory. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so her, what could have been weaknesses become strengths. And I think that's a, um, a real testament to her performance. Mm -hmm. I'm all right, but you've nearly frightened the life out of him. Who? The stag. But we're hunting, you see. It's what's done. Just because it's what's done doesn't mean it's what should be done. You're right. I hope to see you again, miss. Well, in my opinion, the casting of Lily James, you might recognize from the Downton Abbey TV series as Cinderella, could not have been better. Here's Lily. Lily, watching your performance as Cinderella, I had the feeling, correct me if I'm wrong, that you were enjoying this film, you loved walking in Cinderella's shoes. Mm, I did, yeah. Did you get that? I did. Yeah. I really did. I, I um, I, I loved in I loved being her because she felt that kind of positivity and that inner strength. It was really inspiring and really like it made me feel lighter. It made me feel like hopeful. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm sure. Working with, uh, I've interviewed Kenneth so many times, <laughs> and he's such a wonderful man yeah. and a great director. Yeah, he must must have made you comfortable as Cinderella yeah. as well. Yeah, he's. Um, I can't. I can't. I don't have words enough to tell you how comfortable he made me feel. I mean, he, he's so. You know, when he's talking to you, it's like you're the only person he's talking to, you know, because he's so specific and clear. Mm -hmm. So his when he told me about her and about his vision for the film, I felt like I. I, I, I don't know. I just I felt like I, I understood, and 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 he um, he directs with such heart and such mm -hmm. such warmth. So he made me feel like I could do it. Especially dancing in the ball. Yeah. I mean, what a wonderful scene that was. <laughs> yeah. uh, did you have skill in dancing? Was this something something you've enjoyed? Um, I danced before, and I danced a lot in Downton as well, but not quite so um, not quite so sort of. Well, you danced in Downton Abbey. Yeah. Too, didn't yeah. You? Exactly, but I, I Richard's funny because he said he couldn't dance, but he was so great and he really led me. And the thing that was hard about the dance was the dress because it was just it engulfed us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it kind of swallowed Richard's <laughs> legs. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was quite difficult. Well, you know, Kenneth Branagh, we just mentioned uh, he predicted a great future for you, and oh. I, I think all everybody that's watched you, whatever you've done, uh, would agree with that. Thank you. Because you're just a wonderful, beautiful person. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Did you enjoy the 
period piece. The you mentioned the costume, the the, the dress at the ball, mm. but uh, the sets and the costumes, uh, you know, of that time. Mm. It must have been a lot of fun. It really mm. was, and, and, and it, it, it kind of does all the work for you as an actor. You feel sort of transported into this world. And, and I felt um, with, with this, they built everything. So you'd walk mm -hmm. onto these sets done by Dante Ferretti, and, and you felt just sort of in, it, it transported into this world. It was brilliant. Well, you could not go wrong if you rent or purchase the new DVD Blu-ray of this beautiful and perhaps the best version of Cinderella ever made. It has a PG rating. I gave it a B plus. Well, also opening in Tucson this Friday is the adventure drama Everest, the biography crime drama Black Mass starring Johnny Depp, a sci-fi thriller Maze Runner, and Tobey Maguire stars in Pawn Sacrifice, the story of chess champion Bobby Fischer. I'm going to see you right here next Tuesday on The Morning Blend.